Shalom, Shalom, Koholayam La, Awanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rechachardash, double honors to our elders and elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay. Back at it again with another hit. This is a Mafia Eyes of the Great Millstone, Northern Virginia. Okay, uh, laugh now, cry later, Evil E. Laugh now, cry later. We're going to pull out some scriptures, man. Because y'all think Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai has forgotten his children, man. He has not forgotten us, man. Salakia. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai has not forgotten his children, man. He has not forgot, forgotten us. He's not forsaken us. None of that, man. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let this Bible talk, man. Let's let these scriptures speak. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 50. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 50, starting off at verse 31, and it reads this. I am, behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith Yahweh, power of hosts. For thy day is come. The time that I will visit thee and the most proud shall stumble and fall and none shall raise him up and I will kindle a fire in his cities and it shall devour all round about him. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Yasharala and the children of Yahweh were oppressed together and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Their Redeemer is strong. Yahweh of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly, he shall thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. Let's keep on going. You, you see what it says, so let's just keep on going. Let's go to Luke. Let's go to Luke chapter 18, verses 7 to 8, and it reads this. And shall not, and shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them, I tell you that he will avenge, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Yes, he will. He will find the hopeful elect that that remnant coming back to him with, with uh, tons of faith, man. That's going to be waiting uh, with all faith, truth and sincerity and patience for for, for uh, Yahweh sending our big brother, our king, our Messiah, Yahweh Shai to redeem us out of this captivity, man. OK, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, Israel. This is Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 41, Isaiah chapter 41, starting off at verse 10, and it reads this, fear thou not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy power, I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness, behold, all they that were incised so like it, behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contend with thee that war against thee shall be as nothing even them that contend with thee, that war against thee, shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, for I, Yahweh, thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Yasharala. 
I will help thee, saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Yasharala. Self explanatory, man. So, what I got to say to you, E? Laugh now. Get, get your giggles, your shits and giggles out now, because you're going to be crying later. Keep on going. Let's go to Revelation. Let's get, let's get an end time, end time vision of the victory. Let's get an end time vision of the vir of the victory. It's like of the victory. And uh, f furthermore, Thawada, um, Elder Apostle Ramlad, he brought this out today and it, and it popped in my mind too. So let's go ahead and bring it out. All right, this is Revelation chapter 15, verses 2 to 4. And I, and as I, Salakia, Revelation 15, starting off at verse 2. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And then that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stood on the sea of glass, having the harps of the most high. And they sang the song of Moses, the servant of the most high. And the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Yahweh power, almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou king of, of saints. Just and true are thy ways, thou king of saints. Who shall not fear thee? Who shall not fear thee? O Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and glorify thy name. For thou only, for thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee. For thy judgments are made manifest. Okay, so um, when the when the beloved elder apostle broke this down, he was basically saying that we're gonna be uh above that firmament, looking down at Babylon and that lake of fire, you know, rejoicing for the salvation, man. You know. But the elder broke it down uh, very, very well on this, man. And, and, and you know, I had somewhat of a, a intellect about it, but he broke it down perfectly, man. So for why the uh, elder apostle Ramlot, because this, this is a beautiful vision and a beautiful scripture. But let's keep on going. Now, like I said before, laugh now and cry later, E. Laugh now and cry later. Let's go to second Edris, chapter 15, starting off at verse 8, and it reads this. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent, behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually. And therefore, Saith Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. So he's not talking about the Egypt that he brought us out before. He's talking about Babylon, spiritually Egypt, spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, all these kingdoms wrapped in, wrapped in one. And man, you how about Shimei Awashai is going to get physical with you Edomites. So what I'm going to say to you now is laugh now, cry later. Laugh now, Esau, because you're going to cry later. Let's keep on going. All right, let's go to Malachi. Like this, going like I said, this is going to be a quick hit. If I didn't say it, but you know, this is pretty much a quick hit. Uh, Malachi chapter three, verses. Uh, let me see here what I want to read. Verses sixteen to seventeen, and it reads this: Then they that feared Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, spake often one to another, and Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith Yahweh of hosts, in that day 
when I make when I make up my jewels and I will spare them as a man spare of his own son that serveth him. So, man, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah has us in remembrance. He's not going to forsake us. He's not going to have us out here doing his 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 uh, his will, speaking his words and then forget about us, man. He's not going to drop the ball as the elder um, elder uh, Malcolm, will all, you know, always say he's not going to drop the ball on Israel, man. He loves us, man. So we're going to close out on this scripture right here. This is second Maccabees because this devil, this devil puts his trust in his weaponry his artificial intelligence, and we should always have our trust, our hope, our belief, our faith, and our fear in Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. This is 2 Maccabees chapter 8, verse 18. For they said he trusts in their weapons and boldness, but our confidence, but our confidence, Yasharala, is in the Almighty, who at one beck can cast down both them that come against us and and also all the world so there you have it israel we we we, we got the victory man yahweh Shem yahweh shah is not going to forsake us he's not going to forget about us man he got us man we just got to endure keep on praying keep on fasting keep on being humble you know keep on being obedient man so like i'm gonna say it again to you cave gorillas laugh now but you're going to cry later. Laugh now, Esau. But you're going to weep. You're going to mourn. You're going to beg for mercy. Laugh now. Cry later. Shalom. You were scared, huh? Don't be scared. Mm -mm, don't be scared.